Andy. Have you found yourself a toy? Opening the drawers, I can see you're going to be trouble, aren't you? I got my gorgeous new toddler with me today, my new baby girl. This is Sally Ann, and she is the Sandy Sculpt by Jenna Kay. And of course, she was reborn by my dear friend Alexandra Taylor Hughes. As you saw, she's been toddling around, opening the drawers in here, and found herself a little teddy bear. <laughs> Bless her. I think she's going to be trouble. We've had a few tantrums, haven't we? Yes, we have, young lady, a few tantrums. But she's been all right so far. I bought her a little outfit, as I always like to with my babies. And of course it's yellow, because I'm still sticking with my yellow theme. And this is a little mayoral sundress, and it's yellow and white stripes. And it says, enjoy your summer in blue. And it's got two flowers and it looks like little fairies, I think, on them. Uh, there's a blue fairy and a yellow fairy and they're both smiling. They're really cute. Lovely little dress. It's got a little bit of a silver thread through it. And it's got a crossy back to it. Cross straps. So, um... As she's got a doe suede body, I'm going to put a little onesie underneath with a little a little white onesie with a little collar just to um, hide the fact of her back and everything. And she wanted, hello darling, are you here still? She said, yeah, my tiger lid is still there. She's uh, watching everything. She wanted to choose her own shoes and she picked these. I wanted her to have some sandals on, but she likes these. Peace, love and happiness. They're these lovely little hand-painted shoes. And they've got all different coloured rainbow coloured ribbons in them. And it's got the peace sign and different coloured flowers. And a big yellow sunflower on the front and yellow front to the shoes. So they will go nicely with it. So well chosen, young lady. And I'm going to put a little yellow bow in her hair, which I've forgotten to get, so I'll get that now. So there we go, I'm going to put a little yellow bow in her hair. And have a little chat with you. Thank you for welcoming her to my nursery. I really, really wanted to have another toddler. And I saw this sculpt and loved it. And of course, Alexandra's done an amazing job with her. Right, young lady, can I have Teddy? No tantrums. I'll put him there, okay? <laughs> She's leaning on my lovely uh, Suzanne baby's pillow from my dear friend Claudia, who hasn't been well. So sorry to hear you've had COVID. Um, I'm glad that you're getting better horrible thing and it's still going on isn't it there we go darling let's take this off hopefully you're seeing her okay she's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous she's full arms and full legs and she's got straight legs <laughs> and i'm glad you liked her name um it's what my dad used to call me actually sally ann it was my pet his pet name for me and I've always wanted to have a toddler and call her Sally Ann. Oh, I like her little nappy. She's got cows and all sorts of things on it. She's got lovely chunky legs, really chunky legs. So she stands up really well, don't you? Yes, and she certainly gets around. She's been into everything. Hope you're seeing her all right. Let's just lighten you up a bit. She's got the most amazing hair. It's chestnut and a little bit of ginger. Love it. Is this going to fit you? I think it will, young madam. Yeah, this one's going to be a bit of a troublemaker, I think. Aren't you? She's been into all the drawers and wanted to go on the rocking horse. And she's not very polite are you no but her sisters are telling her 
but everything gets shared here so I think she's gonna have to get used to that aren't you yes sharing we're gonna have to teach her that I think <laughs> there we go young lady let's sit you up there we go let's just pull this down and while I've got you here I'll do the back up we went out to see the black phone on Thursday evening. Didn't get back to very late for us, 11 o'clock. So by the time we kind of had a drink and settled down, it was midnight. Wasn't it, young lady? Yes. Mwah. So I was pretty tired after that, as you can imagine, but such a good film. A really good film. If, I mean, it's rated 15. But it is, um, you know, it's, it says it's a horror, but it's more of a thriller, I think. It's Ethan Hawke, who's amazing in it. And he is a serial killer that preys on little boys. And he gets this little boy and there's a black phone in the room that's disconnected and all the other little boys that he knows a lot of them because a lot of them are from his school. That fits you nicely, darling, doesn't it? Um, help him, the phone rings and they tell him what to do to try and help him to get away. Oh, it's really, really tense and you really want him to get away because Ethan Hawke keeps coming down. He doesn't do anything to him. It's not child abuse as in sexual. It's um, in a different kind of way. Let's just undo these. I think we could probably go over a head, but I will undo it. Um, he likes to beat them. Um, and he calls it Naughty Boy. So these boys are telling him, the ghosts of these boys that have died are helping him not to be a naughty boy and not to fall into the traps. It's really, really good, honestly. It really is. It's an hour and a half um, and it flies by. It's so tense. It's really good. And you really want him to get away. Oh, this is going to fit you gorgeous, darling. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Let's just pull your skirt up. There we go. And just put this over. This is a three month size, mayoral, and it fits her nicely. There we go, darling. Just lay down for mummy while I do this up. Um, so, yeah, very, very good film if you're into that kind of thing. Ethan Hawke wears these awful masks. <laughs> awful. He's not a very nice man. But uh, he plays the role so well. I love Ethan Hawke. And we really enjoyed it. It was very, very good. So if you're into that type of thing, look out for the black phone because it's good. And I had a blueberry muffin ice cream, although I shouldn't have done because it was so late at night. And um, I had a bit of a sugar rush at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but never mind. Um, and... We took a flask of tea with us. Uh, so, yeah, good evening, good film. Loved it. And we're going again this Tuesday for an unlimited thing, but I can't remember what it's about or what it's called, but I'll tell you about that during the week. There we go. Let's get these little buttons done up. Thank you for all your lovely comments on my question and answer session i enjoyed doing that for you that is perfect look at that that fits her absolutely perfect look at that comes to her knees isn't that pretty really nice i do love my oral things do you like that she likes that don't you yeah she does let's get your shoes on and we do your hair yeah um I'm glad you enjoyed my questions and answer session. I love doing those. We'll have to do another one sometime. I hope these are going to fit you, young lady. You chose them. You've got rather large feet. 
Well, I don't think they are going to fit you. Hang on. Oh, they should do. Let's just make them a bit looser for you. See if I can get your foot in. Otherwise, it's going to be the ones Mummy wanted. They're not going to go on. They're not going to go on, young lady. They might do if you didn't have socks. Let's just take your socks off and see if that'll work. She was adamant she wanted these shoes. No, they're not going to fit you. They're not going to fit you. They're too small. Mummy, I have to find the sandals. So let me just take your socks off and I'll get the sandals for her. No tantrums. No. No tantrums. Do you hear me? No. Honestly, this girl. Right, let me see if I can find those other ones for you. I think these would probably be better for her. They're, I wanted them because there's like a silver sparkle in this and these are little silver sparkly sandals. And I've taken her shoe, her socks off. So hopefully these will fit. She's got really big chubby feet. No, they're not going to fit you either. I think we're going to need some shoes for you, young lady. Mm, they're too small as well. I think we're just going to have to go with socks today. You just have to keep your socks on until Mummy gets some bigger shoes for you. Unless those yellow shoes will fit. Let's try those. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to get different ones for her because she's got quite chubby feet. Do you want Teddy? Have Teddy a minute. There we go. Let's try those yellow ones. They're a bit bigger. I'm missing one at the moment. I'll try one. I've got these little yellow ones, but I've got a feeling these are going to be too small. Oh, they do fit her. Only just though. We're going to have to get you some bigger shoes, sweetheart. And how I find the other one? Oh, there we go. I'm going to have to find a way of putting the shoes together so that I can find them. I did have them originally, I had them all in pairs, but of course I just throw them in there, so they get lost, don't they? Yeah, these fit her. I'm going to have to get some bigger shoes. I'll have a look for her actually in Sainsbury's. They do fit, don't they? Nice little shoes. So let's sit you up. There we go. I'm still seeing her, let me see. Let me see what you're seeing. Get you up a bit higher for her, because she's a bigger girl. That looks really cute on her, doesn't it? And we give her hair a brush. She's got the most amazing hair. It's really, really nice. I said to Alexandra that I wanted to have a baby with nice curly hair. And uh, this is really wavy, it's lovely. There we go, darling. You show everybody the back of your hair. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Really nice. And we do your little top knot up. Alexandra's put a little band in there. And we put a little yellow bow in. There we go. There we go, beautiful girl. Doesn't she look lovely in that? Really cute. She's such a beautiful girl. So pleased with her. 
and yesterday she got some happy mail now i'm really surprised about this very surprised because it's from auntie shara and of course shara is in new zealand with her family so i'm surprised she's even watching us so say Mwah! big kisses auntie shara it's very really kind of you i got this from children's salon yesterday and she sent me a message on instagram to say it's from her because last time I didn't know so let's open this up and see what Auntie Shara sent you oh there's a card this time welcome sweet Sally Ann love Sh Auntie Shara and babies isn't that kind of her to send some up when she's actually on holiday let's see what she sent you just drop that on the floor oh it's a little mayoral one let's have a little look oh my goodness look at that <laughs> that's adorable look at this a little white dress and it's got lacy broderie on grey sleeves and it's got balloons on it pink and white balloons there's a fluffy balloon in pink pink and white spots pink and white stripes and two silver ones and a little girl with brown curly hair look, with a fluffy dress on oh that's super cute that's gonna be beautiful for her thank you so much that's so sweet of you i'm so so grateful and I'm glad you're having such a lovely time with your family. It's brilliant. And uh, we all miss you, but understand you're with your family. So say, Mwah. thank you, Auntie Shara. It's gorgeous. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing my new little girl. Uh, I think she's going to be a bit of trouble, this one. But uh, yeah, a few tantrums, but we'll see how we go. So take care and have a good rest of your Sunday. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen.